The trial of the criminal case against Armenia's second president Robert Kocharyan and several other former senior officials resumed Friday. The defendants are charged with the overthrow of the constitutional order under a criminal code article which the constitutional court has recently invalidated. In this regard, the defense lawyers had motioned to terminate the criminal prosecution under this article at the earliest court session. However, the court on Tuesday refused to discontinue this criminal prosecution and adjourned the hearing due to the absence of the prosecution. The situation was tense in the court on Friday, as the presiding judge suspended Thay's trial several times. In turn, the Prosecutor General of Armenia today appealed to the Constitutional Court on the case of Robert Kocharyan and the other former senior officials. Armenian Foreign Minister Aray Vazian met with his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov within the sidelines of the session of the CIS Council of Foreign Ministers. Avazian stressed the need to immediately return the Armenian POWs and detainees who are held on the Azerbaijani side and in violation of the obligations provided for in the tripartite statement of November 9, 2020. The foreign ministers also discussed the current issues related to the humanitarian response in Nagorno-Karabakh and the unblocking of economic and communication links in the region. Five years have passed since the four-day war in April. On this occasion, the senior officials of Armenia visited Yarablur military pantheon. Flowers were laid by President Armen Sarkisyan and on behalf of Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and ex-President Ser Sarkisyan. Pashinyan was not present personally as he is in self-isolation since Friday due to his meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin scheduled for April the 7th. The Artsa Nagorno-Karabakh Defense Army has reported the names of 52 more soldiers, reservists and volunteers who had fallen during the recent war. The official number of such casualties from the Armenian side has now reached 2,754. The Congressional Armenian Caucus is calling for over $100 million in U.S. aid to Armenia and Artsakh Nagorno-Karabakh following Turkey and Azerbaijan's devastating attacks last year, the Armenian National Committee of America reported. Also, the caucus calls for the suspension of all U.S. security assistance for Azerbaijan until it has been verified to have ceased all attacks against Armenia and Artsakh. The third COVID-19 wave is on its high in Armenia, leaving multiple deaths and cases. As of Friday morning, 1,160 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia, and the total number of these cases has now reached 194,852. Also, 19 more deaths from COVID-19 were registered, making a respective total 3,552 cases. Meanwhile, Armenia has also reported 10 UK coronavirus strain cases. The bodies of a 26-year-old mother and her 7-year-old daughter were found in an apartment in Yerevan at midnight that had died from carbon monoxide poisoning. A criminal case has been launched and forensic medical and technical examinations have been designated. One American dollar's exchange rate against the Armenian drum comprised 533.17 drums in Armenia on Friday. This is up by 1.03 drums from Thursday, the Central Bank of Armenia reported.